the situation was like someone was bombing there. You know, it was like a war. It was the realization that nowhere is safe. There's nowhere you can go that is really safe. There was a sudden influx of patients, you know, where we received three or four times more patients than in normal times. The health sector suffered a lot. There was uh, like uh, more than uh, uh, 1,200 health facilities were damaged. They were going through a lot of mental stress. Like every person had a different story. You know, they had seen their loved ones dying in front of them because the houses has collapsed. They were helpless because they sustained spinal cord injury. They couldn't move, but then they couldn't do anything to help their family. We were getting patients with spinal cord injury who had other injuries, multiple injuries. And then we had pregnant ladies who were six months pregnant, eight months pregnant, ready for delivery. This is the case of the bed. We have a bed provider. We have a delivery of the bed. We have a candle light. Now, when I remember, it terrifies me. The earthquake was, you know, I guess a once in a lifetime experience for everyone who survived. It was a really difficult time because, you know, for the kids and all, we had to lay out, lay them out in the tents outside and, you know, they'd been staying there and just when we thought, okay, now we can move in, we had the second big one that kind of just, you know, uh, brought the confidence and the morale and everything down. So, you know, it's been a very difficult time, you know. Help counts even more when it's done at the right time, at the right place. And uh, appreciate Derek really because that was very, very prompt. I worked in the UN system for almost 10 years, and I have seen a lot of relief at international aid organizations. But to this day, I can safely and honestly say that I have never seen another organization work so fast. I feel very fortunate that uh, we had a direct relief by our side to support us. We were not prepared to deal with the sudden influx of the patient. So their support came right in time. This past year, I personally know direct relief to have saved the lives of at least 10 HIV AIDS patients. Direct relief has actually gone out of their way, you know, beyond the call of duty to provide these drugs to these patients. These drugs were just not available in Nepal. Immediately after the earthquake, there was a huge need of uh, medicines, essential medicines, equipment, which were all handy and could be used immediately. This was really crucial and very important. And the Ministry of Health were so happy and so grateful to Direct Relief. Direct Relief had a, a very important role in supporting this. We really appreciate the, what the Direct Relief has provided the support in, the, in our request. The support that we got from Direct Relief was a complete package in terms of dealing with the patient, taking care of their need, plus also making difference in the policy making level of Nepal. Direct Relief was a very good thing. Possible Health has uh, utilized the funds from Direct Relief, for example, to buy medications, to buy medical equipments, uh, to buy surgical equipments, which are very helpful for the people. Because of the uh, support uh, Direct Relief provided immediately, we have already helped more than 10,000 people uh, after the earthquake. We were able to provide equipments uh, which made the birthing center uh, functional uh, 24 hours, uh, seven days a week. We have to utilize the utilize the utilize the Thank you so much, you know, for giving me this opportunity to thank all our supporters, donors, you know, who supported us via Direct Relief. Doctors for You are very much thankful to the donors of Direct Relief, the staff from Direct Relief, and also all the medical supply companies because this wouldn't have been possible without them. What would a doctor do if he doesn't have medicines in his pocket, right? We have to thank so much to Direct Relief Project, who has done a um, wonderful job to our people of Toloka. Thank you, Direct Relief, for supporting us during this difficult time. Guys, you are doing a really good job. Uh, thank you very much for your support.
धन्यवाद टीम लाइन ये इतने धन्यवाद बनना चाहें सुबह तो वेरला बैठने माँ का पाए अन्य यो चे मेरे लाइक ये वड़ा सुनाओ रो सुनाओ लो चे अफसर हो तो वेरला ये वड़ा बैठने चाहिए अन्य ते बार में इतने यार सब पे डायरेक्ट रिलीफ को टीम लाइन ही तेरे तेरे धन्यवाद बनना चाहें सुबह। I want to thank Derek Relief for the ARV drugs that they provide that keep me alive and keep me alive in the sense that keeping me alive goes a long way. I have a wife and child who are also HIV positive and who are on antiretroviral therapy, who depend on me for their bread and butter and for shelter and a whole plethora of other things. So thank you, Direct Relief, for helping me to stay alive.